it's not just about the color of the medals at these Olympics. Tokyo 2020 has pledged to become the greenest games in history. Hydrogen-powered cars roam the streets of the Olympic Village. The beds athletes sleep on are made of cardboard. And the Olympic cauldron is powered by hydrogen gas. It's all part of a plan to use as many recycled products as possible and to repurpose the items once the tournament is over. So sustainability since 2015 is at the very heart of all the discussions we have with future hosts. So this is true already for the edition of the games which are uh, being organized. But it will be even more the case in the future as we continue to set the bar high. Even the medals are made from more than 6 million old phones and roughly 78,000 tons of outdated computers and other electronic waste. Oh, e-waste is a big problem, but this trash could be another person's treasure. It's called urban mining, a process in which discarded metals are processed for reuse. Tokyo 2020 organizers saw this as an opportunity and asked residents to donate their old gadgets. The company behind the project says a resource-poor country like Japan needs to retrieve important materials. It's a global agenda, especially for industrialized nations, to retrieve and reutilize precious metals like gold, silver and bronze. We're passing on the baton to future host cities. After the Games, the athletes' village will be turned into condos, schools and shopping malls. Japan wants to make it a hydrogen-powered town, a new model for sustainable urban development. Organizers estimate these games will generate nearly 3 million tons of carbon emissions, but that will be offset through credits donated by Japanese businesses. Final emissions figures will be announced after the games. Uh, we were able to create, uh, collect enough credits um, to uh, offset and actually go beyond carbon neutrality uh, for uh, the amount of, uh, of emissions that the Tokyo 20 games have generated. Tokyo could set the standard for future host cities. And through these sustainability efforts, at future Olympics, perhaps green could be just as important as gold. Mayushida, TRT World, Tokyo.